Hello, my name is Jason Collins. In this video, I will work through several numerical examples of decisions by an exponential discounter. Example 1. $100 today or $110 next week. Allison is an exponential discounter with discount factor delta equals 0 0.95 and utility each period of u of xn equals xn. She is offered two choices. Choice 1. Would she prefer $100 today, t equals 0, or $110 next week, t equals 1? To determine this, we calculate the discounted utility of each option. Allison will prefer the option with the highest discounted utility. We write the discounted utility of the $100 today as u0 of 0, $100. The subscript 0 indicates that the utility is calculated at time t equals 0. The first number in the brackets indicates the time the payment is received. In this case, the $100 is received at t equals 0, today. The second number in the brackets is the value of the payment. The discounted utility of the $100 today, u0 of 0, $100, is u0 of 0 100 dollars equals u of 100 dollars which equals 100 there is no discount delta applied to the 100 dollars as it is received immediately we write the discounted utility of the 110 dollars next week as u0 of 1 110 dollars the subscript 0 again indicates that the utility is calculated at time t equals 0. The first number in the brackets, 1, indicates the time the payment is received, t equals 1. The second number in the brackets is the value of the payment. The discounted utility of the $110 next week is u of 0, 1, $110, equals delta u of $110 which equals 0 0.95 times 110, which equals 104.5. In this case, a discount of delta equals 0 0.95 is applied to the $110 as it is received in one week. We can now compare the discounted utility of each option. U0 of 0, $100, equals 100, which is less than 104.5, which equals U0 of 1, $110. Allison would prefer to receive $110 next week as it leads to higher discounted utility. The following figure visualizes the effect of discounting in choice one. The two bars represent the options, $100 at T equals zero, and $110 at t equals 1. The line from the $110 option represents the discounted utility of that option at each time. At t equals 0, the discounted utility of the $110 received at t equals 1 is 104.5. At t equals 0, we can see that the $110 is preferred as the line indicating discounted utility is higher than the utility of the $100 received immediately. Choice 2. Would Allison prefer $100 next week, t equals 1, or $110 in two weeks, t equals 2? Again, we calculate the discounted utility of each option. Allison will prefer the option with the highest discounted utility. The discounted utility of the $100 next week is U0 of one $100 equals delta U of $100, which equals 0 0.95 times 100, which equals 95. The discounted utility of the $110 in two weeks is U0 of two $110 equals delta to the power of 2 u of $110, which equals 0 0.95 to the power of 2 times 110, which equals 99.275. We can now compare the discounted utility of each option. u0 of 1 $100 equals 95, which is less than 99.275, which
which equals U0 of two $110. Allison would prefer to receive $110 in two weeks. The set of decisions across choice one and choice two are time consistent. If Allison selected $110 in two weeks for choice two and was given a chance to change her choice after one week, which is effectively choice one, she would not change her decision. The following visualizes the effect of discounting in choice two. The two bars represent the options. $100 at T equals one and $110 at T equals two. The line from each represents the discounted utility of that option at each time. For example, at T equals one, the discounted utility of the $100 received at T equals one is 100. And the discounted utility of the $110 received at T equals two is 104.5. We can read those values from the line. For any time t, we can determine which option would be preferred by seeing which line is higher. You will note that the two lines do not cross. For an exponential discounter, if one line is higher at any particular time t, it is higher at all times. The following figure visualizes choice two reconsidered at t equals one, which as noted earlier, is effectively choice one. The discounted utility of the $100 received immediately is less than the discounted utility of $110 in one week. The preference for the higher value option remains. Example 2. How much for a one-year delay? Brenda is an exponential discounter with discount factor, delta equals 0.95 per week, and utility each period of u of xn equals xn. She is offered $100 today. What sum would she need to be offered in one year, 52 weeks, to prefer that later payment to the $100 today? To determine this, we calculate what sum received in one year would give Brenda the same discounted utility as receiving $100 today. The discounted utility of the $100 today is U0 of 0 $100 equals U of $100, which equals 100. The discounted utility of the sum Y received in 52 weeks is U0 of 52 Y dollars equals delta to the power of 52 U of Y dollars, which equals 0 0.95 to the power of 52 times Y. As there is a 52 period delay, the discount factor delta is applied 52 times. She will prefer Y dollars in 52 weeks if U of 52 Y dollars is greater than 100. This implies 0 0.95 to the power of 52 times Y is greater than 100. This implies Y is greater than 100 on 0 0.95 to the power of 52, which implies that Y is greater than $1,440.03. Brenda would be willing to wait a year for payment if she was paid more than $1,440.03. The following visualizes this problem. The bar at T equals 52 represents the $1,440.03 Brenda would need to be paid, at minimum, to prefer that payment to $100 today. The line extended from that bar back to T equals zero indicates the discounted utility of that payment at any time t. At t equals zero, the discounted utility of the $1,440.03 is equal to the utility of $100. Example three, $10 in five days or $20 in 10 days. Chelsea is an exponential discounter with discount factor delta equals 0 0.75 and utility each period of U of Xn equals Xn. Would Chelsea prefer $10 in five days, T equals five, or $20 in 10 days, T equals 10? We calculate the discounted utility of each option. Chelsea will prefer the option with the highest discounted utility. The discounted utility of the $10 in five days is U0 of five $10 equals delta to the power of five U of $10, which equals 0 0.75 to the power of five times 10, which equals 
2.37. The discount factor delta is applied five times as the payment is received in five days. The discounted utility of the $20 in 10 days is U0 of 10 $20 equals delta to the power of 10 U of $20, which equals 0 0.75 to the power of 10 times 20 which equals 1.13. The discount factor delta is applied 10 times as the payment is received in 10 days. We can now compare the discounted utility of each option. U0 of 5 $10 equals 2.37, which is greater than 1.13, which equals U0 of 10 $20. The discounted utility is higher for the $10 in 5 days. As a result, Chelsea will prefer to receive $10 in five days. Dorothy is an exponential discounter with discount factor delta equals 0 0.95 and an utility each period of u of xn equals xn. Dorothy has a larger discount factor than Chelsea, meaning that she applies a smaller discount to future outcomes. Would Dorothy prefer $10 in five days, t equals five, or $20 in 10 days, T equals 10. The discounted utility of the $10 in 5 days is U0, 5, $10 equals delta to the power of 5, U of $10, which equals 0 0.95 to the power of 5 times 10, which equals 7.74. The discounted utility of the $20 in 10 days is U0 of 10, $20 equals delta to the power of 10, u of $20, which equals 0 0.95 to the power of 10 times 20, which equals 11.97. The discounted utility is higher for the $20 in 10 days. Dorothy will prefer to receive $20 in 10 days. The following figure visualizes the choices and Chelsea and Dorothy's discounting of the payoffs. In both charts, Vertical bars represent the $10 in 5 days and $20 in 10 days. The lines projecting back to T equals 0 represent the discounted utility of those payoffs at each time. When delta equals 0 0.75, the heavy discount to the more distant payoff means that it has a lower discounted utility than the smaller, sooner payment of $10. When delta equals 0 0.95, the discount is less severe and the $20 in 10 days has a higher discounted utility than the $10 in 5 days.